Hello, my name is Dr. Franklin Cease with the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. Injections are used in the office to diagnose and treat many common bone and joint problems. They are commonly known as cortisone shots or cortisone injections. The injections are used in and around joints and occasionally directly into muscles. The most common reason to inject a joint is arthritis. Directly injecting into a joint avoids steroid being disseminated all over the body. In other words, we can place the medicine where the patient needs it most. Reasons to inject around the joint are to treat bursitis or certain types of tendonitis. In these cases, the medication is directly delivered into the soft tissue surrounding the area, causing pain from inflammation and irritation. Occasionally, we use injections directly into muscles that are causing pain. This is typically from spasm. They're called trigger point injections. All of the previously mentioned types of injections are typically carried out with both an anesthetic or numbing medication and a steroid medication. The anesthetic or numbing medication part is very important for diagnostic purposes. In other words, the way your joint or soft tissue feels over the first several hours can prove where the pain is coming from. The steroid component of the medication works over days or weeks and addresses the underlying inflammation. When you follow up with your physician after an injection, it is important for you to be clear if one of these uh, or both of these medications were helpful. If you're allergic to steroids or local anesthetics like lidocaine, marcaine, or novocaine, you may not be able to get an injection. Please let your physician know. If you are on blood thinners or have bleeding problems, make sure all are aware as you may be at increased risk for certain types of problems. Possible but rare side effects. The most common is a flushing or steroid flare that is due to the steroid component of the injection. This can happen within the first couple of days and it usually requires no treatment. You can place ice locally over that area of the joint or take Minadryl orally. These can both be helpful. You should call with any questions or concerns. Risks associated with local steroid injections are very few. Include an injury to local blood vessels and nerves and possibly infection. The procedure itself is carried out under sterile conditions. The area is marked and cleaned with alcohol and or betadine. A topical anesthetic is sprayed onto the area to numb the superficial skin. Once in position, the medication will be injected. You may feel some pressure as the joint or soft tissue fills with medication. Injections of visco supplement are very similar except for the contents of the injection are not the same. Visco supplementation is used in arthritic conditions to provide cushioning and lubrication to a painful, stiff joint. Hopefully, your injection will give you quite a bit of relief. Please don't hesitate to call with any questions or concerns.